and welcome to yet another workout video a lot of you have been asking for your yoga workout especially because you like my surya namaskar video so today we are going to be doing yoga uh, i have uh, taken up some asanas and we are going to be doing them very slowly the focus is going to be on connecting with your body uh, you know really working that core working on your hip joint and it's not going to be a fast workout and you won't get any cardio but definitely you will get uh, the strengthening and the muscle building in it and also the balancing poses will work on your focus and your balance all right so let's start with the workout just with a simple breathing i want you to Take your arms in front of your chest and open and breathe in through your nose. Breathe out. Get your arms down. Breathe in and breathe out. Just starting with some breathing to calm your mind and settle into the practice. be present here and now two more breaths like this let go of everything else when you come on your mat this is your time to spend with your body and come down next i want you to raise your arms up feel the stretch right from your toe until your fingertips and bend your knees and touch the ground you don't have to keep your legs straight here bend your knees and touch the ground and straighten your leg as much as you can stay there feel your legs waking up hamstrings the back of your legs waking up and come up let me show you from the side how that looks inhale raise your arms up exhale bend forward from your hips bend your knees and let your fingers touch the ground keep your neck loose and relaxed and from here try and straighten your legs You don't have to straighten them straighten them all the way. Go till wherever you're comfortable <clears throat> and you start to feel the stretch. And inhale, start curling up from your lower back. Stacking up one vertebrae at a time. Your head coming up last. One more time. Inhale. Exhale and bend down. Let your head hang loose and straighten your knee as much as you can, keeping your fingers in contact with the ground. Take your time here. Maybe wiggle your legs and come up. All right. Now next thing this is still a part of warm up that we are doing spread your legs apart a little wider than your hips and we are going to do same thing again bend your knees and bend over let your hands touch the floor and come up slowly straighten your knees bend your knees and bend over Take your time here. Maybe shift your weight from one leg to the other. So we're not only <clears throat> waking up our legs here; we are also opening up the hip joint, which we are going to use in our practice today. One more time. Bend over. Exhale. Stay there. Shift your weight side to side from your. left feet to your right feet and right to left and come up so hope you're feeling those legs now just rotate your ankles rotate your ankles move your toes 
get that energy flowing your ankles are so important to ground you they need to be stable whenever you're doing any workout because that's what connects you to the ground and takes all the impact of any workout really <coughs> Okay now coming to the first asana let's start we are going to start with paschvottasana or the pyramid pose all right so this is the pyramid pose just keep some distance wider than your hips between your left leg and the right leg i'm taking my left leg forward all right and just take some time to ground here now feel your weight and feel the grounding to the mat and to the floor through your feet and through your ankles and feel all of that leg engaged all the way up to your core all right and both my ankles uh, my feet sorry are pointing forward the one at the back can be slightly opened up depending on your comfort all right so feel that core pulling you up and the energy flowing all the way to the top of your head make sure your abs are drawn in and your lower ribs are hugging in look i don't want this to happen okay you see that tailbone jutting out and my uh, ribs and my chest flaring up i don't want that to happen so for that you need to point your tailbone down and suck your core in engage your core and that's when your spine is in a neutral position Now from here clasp your hands back and you're going to start bending forward from your hips I'm keeping my back straight bend as much as you can And as you start bending you might feel a need to adjust your legs further apart or maybe closer come up and do that And again tighten your core and start bending forward 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 keeping your gaze ahead on the floor make sure your shoulder blades and your upper back is not curving your neck is relaxed take two breaths here inhale exhale and come up all right now same thing on the other side just turn around <clears throat> again start with your feet make sure your feet are firmly grounded into the mat and your legs are engaged and your core is tight your chest is inside not flaring out like that and your spine is neutral take your hands behind you and start bending forward now for everyone this might look different maybe you can go here no worries just go till wherever you can and as you breathe and ease into the pose you'll be able to go further feel your legs feel your core sucking in your back straight and i hope you can feel the stretch at the back of your front leg on your hamstrings and come up let's do that one more time on each side this time i'm going to go further down and trying to touch my fingertips or even my palm to the mat wherever you can if you can't touch your fingers down don't worry just take it till wherever you can on your leg and you can even use yoga blocks or books over here to place your palms let's go again legs engaged core sucked in back straight ribs hugging in and bending down exhale now take your arms from behind you and place them in front of you if you can't touch the ground don't worry just touch uh, just take hold of your legs wherever you can maybe hold your ankle or your shin bone 
and relax your neck now so that it drops down just breathe and let go core is still sucking in and come up slowly same thing on the other side <clears throat> take your stance hands behind your back core hugging in and bending forward 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 feel the stretch at the back of your hamstring and then let go of your hands and let them drop down towards the ground and you'll always see one side is tighter than the other that's very normal breathe and let go and come up now all right so we're done with the pyramid pose next what we are going to do is virabhadrasana tree and this is how it looks you are going to balance on your one leg and pick up the other leg and stretch your hand that's how it looks let's do it together okay so first of all i want you to shift your weight on any one leg let's start with your left leg and start just pick up your right leg off the mat and just ground yourself on that left leg okay and don't fall on the outside of your leg keep your hip over your leg keep your hip joint over your knee and hug your core tight chest in the same thing that we did last time make sure your core is engaged and you're going to start lifting your right leg up and start leaning your uh, body forward to balance that leg out okay i'm doing it sideways shift your weight on the left leg Hug your core in, lift your leg, right leg, start bending forward. Go till wherever you can and just balance over here, nothing else. Okay? And you can do this next to a wall or a piece of furniture. If you feel like you're losing your balance, you can always take support so that you don't fall. All right? Now, let, same thing with the right leg. We are not going into our... pose right away this is just warming up your leg for that i'm picking my left leg up balancing on my right leg core tight and make sure the leg that you picked up the toe of that leg is pointing down don't let it point sideways the back toe is pointing down towards the mat be aware all right come back Now let's get into the asan Virabhadrasan three. So shift your weight on the your left leg. Start with your right leg going back and make sure that toe is pointing always down towards the mat. Look, this is what go- what's going to happen. Okay, if you're not doing it correctly, instead of going straight like this, you're going to sink into your left hip and open your right hip out like that. I don't want that to happen. So imagine. there are two torches like a headlight on your pelvic bone okay so those headlight should always be pointing towards the floor don't open your hip out sideways like that and keeping that hip stability in mind it requires a lot of hip stability trust me you are going to bend all right now if you can go just this much that's okay too if you can go further go further And now take your hands over your head stretching your body from your toe till your fingertips and come back Don't worry if you're wobbling I'm wobbling too This is not about doing it perfect but doing the best you can and perfecting it every day a little more On to your right leg now Pick up your left leg. Hold your core. Bend as much as you can. Lift that leg behind. Make sure your hips are 
square to the floor pointing towards the floor and come back one more time each side let's go focus on your breath now hold your core tight in shift your weight on the left leg start picking up your right leg behind lift it up spreading your hands in front of you focus on your breath come back and focus shift your weight on the right leg lifting my left leg up lift 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 as much as you can spread your hands back straight core drawn in and come back wow one side is always easier isn't it for me it's my right side comment below and let me know which side is easier for you all right so that was a great balancing and uh, required a lot of focus on your hip joint uh, this pose is very good to um, bring awareness to your hip joint and all of your posture and strengthen your glutes and your core as well all right so the next one that we are going to do is trikonasana which is you stand with your wide stance all right just catch your breath here and i'm going to turn one of my feet to the side okay so my right feet is pointing here my left feet is pointing there 90 degrees all right and we are just going to focus on opening up our lumbar spine over here i just love this pose because i feel a rush of energy after i'm done with it spread your hands wide next to you like a bird okay again feel the grounding through your feet and the energy flowing up right from your hips and your legs core drawn in chest hugging in and now if your uh, left feet is pointing towards the side i want you to shift your ribs towards your left like that okay keep your shoulders down and relaxed and from here bend down take your left hand towards your left ankle and here make sure that your upper shoulder is not falling forward or falling back you are all in the same plane okay look your shoulders have to be is same plane as your legs okay i'm just bending down not forward so don't let this happen at your hips keep your hips stacked over your legs and you're just bending from the side of your hips and your waist and your ribs and going down and look up at your thumb which is in the air pointing towards the sky and now here again don't worry about touching the ground or your ankle with your lower hand go as low as you can maybe it's only till here till your knee that's okay too what's important is that your shoulders are in the same plane as your legs don't let your shoulder fall forward look up at your thumb it's a great exercise to strengthen your neck as well so spondylitis works good but go slow if you have any back issue or spondylitis If you start feeling pain or too much strain, just get out of it. And come up. Same thing on the other side. So I'm going to turn that feet in and turn out my right feet. Okay. Spread my arms. Shift my ribs to the right side, and then slowly start bending down. since we've already worked on a hamstring and stretched it out in the pyramid pose this should be much more easier than you if you just started with the trikonasana directly look up feel the side of your waist opening up
and come up you're going to do that one more time on each side so turn that right feet in left feet pointing sideways spread your arms go to the side and start going down looking up towards your thumb pay attention to your core and keep it engaged don't let go of that awareness yoga is great not just for strength building but also for your organs and correcting your posture undoing all that damage you do by sitting on the chair for long time five more seconds here and come up open the other feet out towards the side go to the side and bend down and try if you can go down a little further this time pushing your comfort zone getting out of your comfort zone just a little never force your body always take permission from your body and then proceed five four three two one and come up all right we are done with all the major poses just the last few to work on your hips so keep your legs a little wider than your shoulder width shoulder width or a little wider we are going to sit into a deep squat or malasana and just sit down into malasana or this is the yoga deep squat put your palms together in namaste and depending on your comfort level you can open your feet out a little wider or if you're not feeling comfortable you want to change your stance take it a little wider or narrower you can do that and come back and sit into malasana now this is a difficult uh, pose for a lot of people to get into because we are not used to it we are sitting in the chair and our hip joints and especially ankle joints are not functioning to its fullest mobility so don't worry if you're not able to get into it do whatever you can uh, maybe uh, you can take your hands place it in front of you and let your heels come off if you're not able to sit into it and slowly and slowly practice this daily let your heels fall back on the mat until you can sit in this comfortably for 1 to 2 minutes this is a very primal position and you should be able to get into it very easily so practice five more seconds here and come up find that toe shake off any tension in your ankle <clears throat> and now last one come down on the mat we are going to do gomukhasana all right so we are going to fold our legs like that get one knee on top of the other and just sit here catch your breath this is really great to open the side of your hips great for your lower back just breathe and now i'm going to take my right hand behind my back and the left hand goes from under my back if you can touch these fingers together behind your back nothing like it if not don't worry just place your hands on your back and sit straight okay why are we folding our hands behind the back this is so that your spine can be straight there's no way you're going to be hunched over while doing this so you're correcting your posture opening the side of your hips and also working on your shoulder mobility here just breathe and if you feel like controlling your hips 
or feel the tightening or discomfort in your hips just let go breathe it out let it happen just give up control of your hips right now and see what happens let them sink into the mat feel feel a relief and opening keep your neck relaxed one more breath here and get your hands out of it and other way around now my left knee was on top so i'm going to put my right knee on the top stay there let your hips adjust into it let go of any tension there and now i'm going to take my left hand up right hand down from behind and look straight ahead or a little bit down keep your neck relaxed and just breathe again let go of that tension in your hips let your hips sink into the mat Two more breaths here. And come out of it. Open your legs out. You can keep them extended or cross leg whatever. We have come to the end of the practice. Thank you for joining me in and do check out my other videos. I have a Surya Namaskar video and even strength training videos for your lower body and your upper body. And remember, if you want to join me in my live workout classes, I'll leave a link uh, to join how on how to join that in the description below this video. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these workout videos and share it with someone your friends who like to work out at home. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.